Okay, folks. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how you can create a video project, um, a short video in this program, Canva, which you can access um, via um, your Google Classroom, which hopefully your teacher has put it on there. Um, or if not, you can just go to canva.com. To create the video that we're going to make today, you just need to click on underneath here where it says easy to assemble videos. This one, create a blank video, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So we're gonna do that. And when you do that and it loads up, you should get a uh, screen that looks like this. We're gonna skip the tour because I'm giving you a tour. And what you want to do now is click on uploads on the left-hand side of the screen here. Now, I've already uploaded all of the assets that we need for the video into my Canva account, so I don't need to upload any files. What you'll need to do is download the files for the video from your Google Classroom and then click on Upload Files. It will open the file browser of um, Chrome OS if you're using a Chromebook or Windows if you're using a PC and you'll be able to select those files and add them into your Canva project. Canva shows you them separately as images here, videos, I've got my videos here, and I've got my audio here that I can use in my project. So we're all set up, we're ready to create the video. What I need to do when I'm creating the video is refer to my storyboard, which is a document you should have available to you and have a look at uh, the sequence of videos that we need to put together in um, our project. The first thing you can notice when you look at that is um, overlaid on all of the videos, we need to have garden sounds in the background. So that's an easy one to get started with. Um, we can click on audio, which I've already got selected here, and find um, garden sounds, that's this one here, and drag that into our project. Um, and if I play that now, um, it should give me a, some garden sounds in a moment. Okay, so I've got my garden sounds in my project. Um, the next thing I need to do is um, put the videos and photos that I want to appear in my um, video into my project in order. So we go to videos first, because that's what we need first, looking at our storyboard. And the first video I need is a close up of the grass in the wind. So um, that's this one here. So I'm going to drag that into my project. So I've got that in there. Um, I then need to look at my next video on my storyboard. And the next video is a close up of um, a mower, and that is this one here. So I'm going to take that and put that into my project. Um, you might need to scroll across at this point to add more videos. Um, the next one I need in my project is a man mowing grass. So that's this one here. I'm going to select that, and drag that into my project. And the next one I need is swinging chair. So I'm gonna take that one from here and drag it into my project. Um, we then need trees and clouds. So it's this one here and drag that into my project. And then I need cat in the sun. So that's this one here. I'm gonna drag that into my project place that there. Um, I then need mower's eye view. Um, I think that's that one there. So let's drag that in there. And then finally, I need um, the robot images. So I need to, instead of being on videos here, I need to go across to images and then place my um, robot images into my project at the end. So I've got 
that one of it facing the front. I need that one. And I need this one. There we go. Okay. So I've got my garden sounds. I've got all the videos and images into my project. Um, we will also notice on your storyboard is that for some of the um, scenes, we have a voiceover. So we're going to get that piece of audio into our project now. That's this one here um, called Media Voiceover. We'll put that um, at the bottom there. Um, oh, it's not gone in. Let's me try again. There we go. So I've got the voiceover in. That's my blue track there. And I also need for some of the scenes um, a sound of the manual mower. And that's um, this one. Let me just check. Yeah. Um, so we'll put that one in there as well. Okay. Now, at the moment, if I play this video, it's not going to be very good. It's um, playing all the sounds, it's playing all the sounds incorrectly, um, and it's not changing from this um, scene here. So we need to do a bit of shifting around on the timeline down here to make sure our voiceover um, appears or, or plays at the correct time, and our sounds play at the correct time. Um, and to do that, we need to refer to our storyboard. So our first scene, close up of grass in the wind. Um, we need to have that um, appearing on the screen and just the garden sounds in the background. So um, the garden sounds is this purple one here. Um, and um, I need that playing all the time. I don't want one minute of grass moving in the wind, though. I'm going to reduce that to um, five seconds like that and um i don't want my voiceover to appear just yet but we can sort that out in a moment i do want my mower there so that's fine what we're going to do now is move on to thinking about our next scene which is um this one page two um close up of mower this one we need a voiceover so we need to be a bit more um careful with this one we need okay so one thing we can do before we look at our voiceover is reduce the mower sounds to just the first three scenes um so they'll play for the first three scenes now because we only need those playing for those scenes after this we don't need the mower sounds playing and now we can look at the voiceover so the first part of the voiceover, I'm going to listen to the voiceover and see where it stops first of all. Okay, so that's where it stopped for the first time. I'm going to right click there and click on split audio. And then the first bit of our video should sound right. Perfect. Okay. And then we need to listen to the next bit of the voiceover and see um, where we need to cut that. Okay. So that's where it's finished. I'm going to right click and click on split audio. Um, and then that bit of the voiceover needs to um, play for the length of the uh, swinging chair clip so we're going to reduce the length of the swinging chair clip to the length of that voiceover then we're going to listen to the next bit of the voiceover and um, see where that finishes okay so that's where that finished i'm going to cut it 
there and I'm going to cut off the bit of no voiceover at the start of it. So right click and split audio for that and get rid of the blank bit. So right click and delete to do that. And then reduce the length of our clouds of sky clip to the length of that part of the voiceover. Play that bit of the video. Okay, now repeat the process with this part of the voiceover. So listening for it and seeing where it stops. Okay, so we're here. So stopping here, so it's going to, we're going to do right click and split audio. And I'm going to do at the start, right click and split audio to get rid of the blank bit. Reduce the length of the cat's clip to the length of the audio. And then repeat the process. Okay, so it finishes here. So I'm going to do right click and split audio and reduce the length of this clip to the length of the voiceover. And then I've got my final um, bit of voiceover, and that needs to play over um, the three pictures of the lawnmower. Okay, and now what we should find is that we've got a video that works. Okay, so for the most part, that's what yours should look like. The only thing that we haven't included in our video that is on the storyboard is any transitions. And so when you've got to this point, you can add in transitions. And to do that, um, there's a little plus icon on the video track, and you can click on that and click on Add Transition. And if you click on dissolve it will fade from one clip into the next okay that's the final thing you need to do to finish your video project so i hope you found this video useful for working out how to create a video project in um, canva refer to your storyboard uh, because that's going to tell you what order you need to put things in and also refer to the example video um, because that will show you what the finished product should look like.